Hello everybody on YouTube. Today I'm taking a tiny little break from some of the development I'm doing at the moment, which is mainly sprites, animations, that sort of fun stuff, to do a little roundup of some of the programs I've been using and almost um, reviewing some of them for you. The first one I wanted to talk about was a little program called Pixel Edit. Pixel Edit is this marvellous little program made by Daniel Carvafort. I probably butchered that. Um, it is a little pixel editing program that's kind of set up with the same sort of GUI that Photoshop has. It's chock full of features specifically designed around doing sprite work, tiles, animations, things like that. Which, um, frankly, doing in Photoshop can be a pain in the ass because you often have to, after you do your animations, uh, you have to spend time chopping them into slices and things like that. Now, this is great because you can just go straight into it and it's got automatically set up things to divide into different tile spaces, loop those into animations really easily, and then you can export them as PNGs, GIFs, or GIFs if you prefer sprite sheets, individual sprite files, and you can do that with just a click of a button instead of sitting there slicing files up and just eating into your workflow time. So you can um, very easily edit your color palettes and you can navigate through the files really easily. It's got a lot of the same keyboard shortcuts to it. One negative thing I will say though is a lot of the keyboard shortcuts are the same as Photoshop, which is great. Some of them are not the same as Photoshop. A good example is if you go to zoom in, and this is on a PC, you go to zoom in, you press Z to get your zoom tool, and you'll click to zoom in. Now if you want to zoom out, you'll hit Alt, and click to zoom out. Now, that doesn't work in pixel edits, you have to right click, which is, you know, it's not too far off what you're normally doing, but it's still not exactly the same as Photoshop. Um, but a lot of the other commands are, like B for the brush tool and things like that, so it, it's, just a, it's just a little bit different. It takes a bit of getting used to for it. The best thing about Pixel is it's available for 10 bucks. If you're looking for something to do sprite work in, um, little pixel art things for a game or for any other reason, I would highly recommend this program. It's, um, it's currently in beta, although it um, seems pretty full-featured to me. Awesome program. Another little thing I'd like to talk about is Mixcraft. Now this is a uh, multi-track music sound editing program. I think it's really similar to GarageBand for the Mac, but it's on a PC. It's a bit more full feature than GarageBand is. It's like, it does what it says on the tin. It's a multi-track um, MIDI sequencing program. You can record, you know, actual WAV files into it and things like that. Supports all different formats, including Og Vorbis, which is the greatest format of all. Uh, you can even do video um, sync ups with it, so you can play a video track and then play your music along to it. Now, Mixcraft also supports VST plugins, which is totally awesome. And they all just plug in and work from what I've seen so far, so make it sound like a piano. You go through and record your different tracks together, so you can be all like. stop that recording, boot up another track, so I'll just insert a, and I can record over top of that. And then because that is, um, because it's MIDI based, you can go through and change up the different instruments for it. I don't know what an Acme pre-locator is, but I'll change the first track to that. I'm sure it'll sound wonderful. And here we go. Oh, beautiful. It's a great little program and it does everything I need it to. Now this isn't no Propellerheads Reason or Cubase or anything like that, but I'm not like a full on musician, that sort of thing. But I also use this for sound effects quite a lot as well because it's very easy to record um, from a microphone. Plug it in this, add some reverb, um, tweak volume settings, normalize it, that sort of thing. And then just punt it out as whatever format I'd like. So this is a great little program. I use this all the time. 
One thing I will say, if you're going to use a program like this to record music and you're, even if you're not a musician by nature but you want to get something done by yourself, buy a keyboard and use that. Do not sit there editing individual notes in on the sort of paper roll thing that you can do. Don't do that, that takes forever. Go buy a $30 keyboard that has MIDI support. Buy a $10 little MIDI cable from eBay. Plug it in the computer and then even if you play it chopstick style with your index finger going It is so much quicker and easier than um, sitting there indiv individually editing notes out and that sort of thing. Keyboards and especially MIDI interfaces are so cheap these days. There is no reason not to have one. I've even got a little cheapy drum machine down here as well. And I use that for um, basic drum beats and stuff when I need to. Um, when just normal loops don't cut it for something that I want. So that is really useful as well. I mean this thing is cheap and crap but because it's all based off MIDI inputs it can sound amazing if I just plug it into a different VST. So awesome, I highly recommend it. Um, I think they've got two different versions of Mixcraft. I think there's a home and a professional version. The only differences I could tell was the home version comes with less VST plugins. But because you can get those free off the internet um, for whatever instrument you want, that really doesn't matter. I think it costs about 80 bucks, 80, 100 bucks. It's under 100 bucks anyway. Awesome. Great value. I've already talked about Google Documents in my first vlog. It's awesome. Use it. Do not use Microsoft Office to collaborate with multiple people. It's crap. You end up with a bunch of files independent of each other and you end up editing versions that someone else has already made changes to. It's a disaster. Use this. You can all edit it at the same time. It works. It's free. It's brilliant. That's all i got to say about that. Use Google Documents for everything. Another great little program, which is free and totally awesome, is Notepad++. It doesn't matter what sort of code you're writing in, this is great. It's a free, light little program that is a fully function text editor and has little language um, sections for pretty much any language you're going to be writing in. It's awesome, so you can just set this to, you know, C, C++, whatever. Um, there's all sorts of crap here, like, you know, like everything you could ever want. And it automatically does all the highlighting and everything for you, and you can be like, you know, if game, then make game. If you code or do any work with code or scripting, you should have this. You should just have this already. I shouldn't be telling you anything new here, you should have Notepad++. Um, it's awesome. Alright, uh, thanks guys. I just wanted to do a little outline on some of the software I'm using because especially Pixel Edit, it's a bargain. Absolute bargain. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for Pixel Edit. So if you're doing anything with Pixel Art and you're using Photoshop, consider Pixel Edit. It's ten bucks. Um, and it's so much better. So much better for um, especially lots of sprites and animations and that sort of thing. Photoshop eats your time with that with that sort of thing. Um, anyway, thank you very much guys. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.